Okay, everyone, welcome back to a grocery haul. Told you I'd have another one for you. All right, so let's get started. Thank you to Sharon for this wonderful shirt. Thank you very much. So let's get started. I got one of these tins because who was talking about it? Goof Girl Girlana, I think was talking about how she was going to go get a tin. Hey, girl, if you're watching. Um, she was going to go get a tin of that cheese, caramel, and buttered popcorn. I got one, and I thought this doggy one was cute because Dual says black, and then the other one's a mixed color, but he's a lot of that color, so I got this one. And that has the caramel, cheese, and butter. This was three bucks. Okay, and then next we have some Suavitil. This is um, fabric softener. Um, we have some, this was very cheap. It was like two bucks or two ninety nine. So that's why I bought it. Um, it's extra. Yes, it's the generic brand, but it was $3. So why not? Okay. I got the OxyClean and the Tropical Passion. Okay. Put those over there, those big boys. Okay. This table's like, whoa, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I knocked that over there. And then in this bag, we got some more radishes. We got some jalapenos, some vine tomatoes, and some five large baking potatoes. My table is like tipping. The leg broke off of it because of the dogs. Now, if I would have said a chair broke, you guys would have probably thought that was for me. But, no, it's not the chair, it's the table. <laughs> oh, man. So, and then I got some dill pickle chips just because I was craving them. And then I got some Capri Sun Pacific Cooler and Fruit Punch Juice Boxes. Okay, and so, oh, I missed, but I'll throw it away. I already showed the jalapenos, and you guys, these are new in my store. I didn't see them before ever. They're new, and they're um, Alyssi, I think. Alice, Alyssi, sesame breadsticks, authentic. And I'm going to read you what it says on the box. Um, the origins of breadsticks date back to 1679 when a baker named Runero Antonio from Turnin, Illinois, Illinois, Turnin, Italy, was faced with the task of developing a bread suitable for the sick child of a king. Through much trial and error, Mr. Antonio developed crisp and delicate fingers of bread that we recognize today as breadsticks. Our imported Al Alissi breadsticks are made with the same Grissini, 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 it's G-R-I-S-S-I-N-I, -S -S Torinesi, it's Turin style, Turin style, that's what it says. Recipe of centuries ago, we use only the highest quality ingredient, ingredients, including our own Alessi extra virgin olive oil. Enjoy Alessi breadsticks, either plain rosemary, garlic, or pepeto flavored as in any time snack. Bon appetit. And this is what it looks like. That's the place in Italy right there. And these are the sesame ones. I got two sesame. These are only a buck. I got two sesame and one garlic. I love these things so much, you guys. So, $3, that ain't bad at all. And then I got some Cheez-It, the big ones. 
and then I got the party size hot Cheetos because I love hot Cheetos. They're probably my favorite chip. I just love them and I have since I was a little girl. So, yeah. And then we got an 18 pack of eggs. Uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, the big one. Then we got hot dog and hamburger buns. And of course, I'm out of my chocolate eclair bars. So I bought more. These are $6 for $12. It's kind of pricey, but I love them. So I don't care. I got some mini tater tots. I love these with um, Mrs. Dash on them. They're so good. Another Stouffer's French bread pizzas. You guys, if you have never tried these in a microwave, I know it sounds lazy, but if you're like on the go or whatever, these are so good in the microwave. You put one on a paper plate and you, or a normal plate, but if you're on the go, you would use a paper plate. You put them on for a minute and a half, but I put mine on for two minutes. I put it on 30 more seconds because it made it a little more, the cheese more done on top, and that's how I prefer it. So if you have not tried these, the Stover's French Bread Pizzas, give them a try. I think you'll like them. I get the cheese and the pepperoni. And then I got some bones for the dogs. Some baby cut carrots and a block of cheese from good old Wisconsin. And last but not least, some SOS lemon pads and some dishwater rinse aid. So yeah, that's my haul for today, you guys. I might have a little more coming up in the next few days, maybe. Maybe not. But I will have diving videos of what I got. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all so much for watching. And remember to hit that notification bell if you haven't because YouTube's been messing up. And like if you have already clicked it, go in and click it, unclick it, and then click it again. Because a lot of people are having issues with the notifications, but a lot of people aren't as well. So um, thank you all so much again. And be safe, be well, and happy diving. Even though this isn't a diving video, I'm always going to say that now because I love dumpster diving. Bye, guys.